that one of the problems that I hope to be able to touch on when we talk about big money controlling our society and the political process and the fact that to run for president of the United States you need to bring in 100 or 150 million dollars which as we all know by and large is going to come from corporations and you're going to have to pay them back by doing the tax breaks and the other giveaways that corporations receive. Uh, one of the problems that we have is, is the media. And I, as I mentioned to you earlier in the program, I want to congratulate C-SPAN for being at least one channel where people have a chance to learn what's going on in the Congress and throughout the country. And I, and I mean that sincerely. But generally speaking, what we understand is that the media, whether it's CBS, NBC, ABC, or the major newspapers in America, are owned by big money. And the concentration of that ownership is becoming significantly more severe. There's a wonderful book that I would recommend to the viewers called The Media Monopoly by a gentleman named Ben Bagdikian. And what he talks about, and it's quite incredible, is that the corporations, whether it's the Gannett Press, buying up more and more daily newspapers, independent newspapers around the country, or whether it's General Electric, which has just bought NBC, and as I understand it, is thinking about buying or part of buying CNN. Okay? What we're looking at is these huge corporations swallowing the book publishing firms, the movie houses, the magazines. And who is going to be talking, presenting an independent voice that is free of big money? And one of the, of course, the reality of that is that you have situations such as television, and the major function of television, by and large, is not to educate people, not to entertain people, but to bombard them every other minute with a 30-second ad selling them one product or the other. And all of television is geared not about important issues, but entertainment, uh, and in fact, the news itself, very important issue, the news itself is becoming entertainment. So when we talk about big money controlling this country, it's not only the direct political process, but it's how we even learn about what's going on in this country.